Among the 36 institutions that have been given the new organogram include the Public Service Commission, which had 38 employees, and through the current reshuffle, it has added more 10 positions and will soon have 48 employees. According to Angelina Muganza, the Executive Secretary of Rwanda's Public Service Commission, the Commission's responsibilities will be improved. <laughs> There is a policy that states that if government agencies work under one building, why shouldn't they share some employees such as those in the IT sector? Receptionists who can work across all agencies. Ideally, we should have employees who will be paid for working for all government departments who work in the same building. This is also evident in various other institutions, organograms, in ministries, agencies, commissions, and various other departments. An example is the Rwanda Transport Development Agency that had 54 employee positions. But according to the new employment chart, the institution now has 43 positions. Such a development, though widely welcomed by many, including the Rwanda Workers' Trade Union Confederation, the Deputy Secretary General of this confederation, Bidaba Boneye, African, says Article 34 of the Presidential Decree on the Appointment of New Members of Staff says that when an employee doesn't get their position due to the fact that the existing position was removed, they should be referred to the ministry to position them elsewhere, something that is not in the new regulations. <laughs> This is how it's stipulated, by, but our concern, when we look at the new instructions, it's not there. But when you look at Article 4, it says if there's an employee that doesn't get their job after the reshuffle, it will be considered as if they are fired, which is our concern, and we see it conflicts with what was in plan before. The Ministry of Education had 70 vacancies, but now has 59, although some of its departments were relocated elsewhere, along with some employees. The National Women's Council, which had 19 staff, now has only seven and will work in the Ministry of Gender and Family Promotion. Technology-based performance is one of the reasons why some people are losing their positions due to their inability to keep up with that technology. The Executive Secretary of Labor Congress and the Brotherhood Rwanda, Kotraf, Seraphine Gasore, says those over the age of 50 who do not have access to technology yet have not yet reached their retirement age are suddenly facing unemployment. <laughs> Technology always comes to simplify work and ultimately requires that few people will now be working. And when laws are reshuffled, there is concern among employees because some of them face a possibility of being laid off, which is why people should always catch up with the latest trends of technology to avoid such scenarios. So far, two state gazettes have been published on 14th and 20th August 2020 respectively, and they both indicate that the 36 state bodies have already been approved in the revised organograms, where some have increased the number of employees while others have reduced them. And the government says through this, no employee will be harassed and the law will be followed. Gwijema Konstantin, the interim director of legal quality and the state gazette, says an employee who loses his or her position will be paid two-thirds of his or her total salary for a period of six months, but the law will be enforced should he or her not find another placement. Whoever will finish six months without being placed elsewhere, they will have lost their job, and the law states that he must be given a severance package by the institution he or she was working for at the time, and that is determined by the salary the former employee was receiving, minus taxes, and also determined by the former employee's experience in the public sector. That means any employees laid off will be protected by the law and their rights will be respected as the law requires. The Rwanda Academy of Language and Culture has been merged with the Rwanda Museums and the Early Childhood Development, coordinated by the National Commission of Children, which means some employees for these institutions will no longer have their jobs and will be required to work elsewhere.